Title, NYC Art Professor's Abrupt Unemployment, The Unseen Side of Artistic Expression or a Twist in Freedom of Speech. T.L.D.R. A fired NYC art professor might be dipping her brushes into a more intense palette. This after she got recorded during a spicy clash with abortion protesters on campus. Later, she allegedly pulled a machete act on a journalist. Is this freedom of speech gone rogue or a social meltdown? Curtains closed on an NYC college adjunct professor recently after her emotionally charged standoff with abortion objectors on campus went viral. Not stopping there, she reportedly amped up her edginess when she allegedly threatened a journalist with a machete. The dust-up saw Shelline Rodriguez, an art professor, engaged in a fiery debate with anti-abortion activists, calling their display propaganda and disassembling some of the materials off the student's table. That's one way to interpret abstract art, isn't it? However, this outburst seems to have cost Rodriguez her job, with a spokesperson from Hunter College confirming her dismissal. But hey, as they say, art is freedom, right? Or does freedom of expression have a limit? When contacted, neither Rodriguez nor the college spokesperson was immediately available for a comment. Seems like they're both busy doing some serious brushwork to cover up this messy canvas. The saga continued when a reporter, seeking answers, ventured to Rodriguez's abode in the Bronx. What did they get in return? A heated machete threat. Is this the new age Picasso expressing her frustrations, or a serious concern for public safety? As we delve into this narrative, one can't help but ask, where do we draw the line between passionate debate and disturbing action? Is this a case of extreme expression, or a stark illustration of spiraling social emotions? This incident raises intriguing questions. Is academic debate getting too hot to handle? Are we seeing a shift in the way teachers defend their beliefs, from the chalkboard to a machete, metaphorically speaking, of course? Is this a unique form of art or just another shade of controversy? Art is meant to provoke thoughts, but when does provocation transform into aggression? How should institutions react when confronted with such complex issues? The story of Rodriguez, the passionate art professor, provides a fresh perspective on freedom of speech expression, and the dynamics of campus politics. Will it change the way we perceive academic freedom, or will it be brushed aside as an isolated incident? Remember, we're not drawing any conclusions here, because it turned up news, we don't sketch out recommendations. We just lay out the colors for you to paint your own picture. So, was this a Picasso in the making who lost her canvas, or a legitimate concern about aggressive behaviors on campus? Let's hear what you think.